Hi! Today we're not meeting because of standardized testing, so instead you're getting a lesson that is recorded by me, and it is going to be about the distributive property, and we've gone over this in class, but today we're going to look at distributive property a little bit differently than we have before, uh, because we're going to look at it as some as an array, okay, and this is going to come in handy later when we are learning about perimeter something that we do this year. So, and area, which is another thing we're going to learn about this year. So I need you guys to get this worksheet out. It is in the December 3rd packet. So it's in that old packet. So please pause the video and come back when you have it. Okay, so by now you should be back with this worksheet. And in order to do this distributive property worksheet, you're always going to see two little, two little grids on your screen. And the first one's going to show you, you're going to have to count the number of rows that you have. And that's going to give you the first factor in your multiplication problem. Then you're, so it's seven rows. And then you're going to count this across how many columns there are. Now I thought it was also seven. It looked like it was seven, but it's actually only six columns. So the problem is seven times six. Now some of you might know the answer to that is 42. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you at the beginning that it's 42. Okay, but if you didn't know that, another way that you could do that is you could break this array into two separate problems. So the first problem would be 7 times 2, because there's 7 rows, we counted those earlier, 2 columns. The second multiplication problem is again 7 rows, and this time there's 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. Okay, so we could now find out, well, this 7 times 2 is 14 little squares. And this one is 7 times 4. Well, that's 28 little squares. And 14 plus 28 is 42. Now, if I had been doing this, I probably would have shaded in 7 times 5 plus 7 times 1, because I think those are friendlier numbers. So instead of 2 and 4, I would have picked 5 and 1. Remember, these two numbers always have to add up to this number. Okay, so 2 columns plus 4 columns equals 6 columns altogether. Okay. Now the second one, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to count down and do, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then how many columns? Okay, maybe, maybe you don't know the answer to this. So let's go over here. Now here I can see that there's going to be six rows for both of these, because remember there's six rows. And this one, there's three, and there's five. Okay, so this little problem here represents six times three, and this problem over here represents six times five. And you may not know what 6 times 3 is, but I want you to think 6 times 2 is 12. Add another 6, that's 18. Okay, and then 6 times 5, that's easy, that's 30. Okay, and 18 plus 30 is 48. Now the last one, I'm going to have you guys solve that on your own, just like we did. But you're going to do that after we're done with the recording. Now we're going to go up here, and this one says you're going to split these up however you want. So the original one, once again, we're going to count how many rows. And this time it's eight rows. 
and then how many columns? Seven columns. Maybe you don't know what eight times seven is. That's a hard one. So over here, I want you to break eight times seven into two separate problems. Now, I've told you all along I like friendly numbers. Five plus two is seven. So I'm going to put five and two there. Eight goes at the beginning because we're multiplying that eight times two numbers that add up to seven. And eight times five would be this right here, and I'm going to shade that in lightly. And then 8 times 2 would be this over here. Now your job is going to be to figure out, well, what is 8 times 5 and what is 8 times 2, and then add those together to get the answer and write that answer over here. Now when we're finished, I'd like you guys to do these two on your own as well. So this one, and this one, and then this one. Okay, and when we get together the next time and meet for math, we're going to go over these. So be ready to give me an answer because you might get called on. All right, guys. See you later.